Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in Lafayette, Louisiana, Earl Canterbury are with you on another great edition of Big Time Wrestling Wednesday, only on the uh, Twitch channel known as Vampiro 0712. We got a lot of great action here, including a steel cage main event. It's going to be Brent against Seth Rollins. They're not going to wait till Friday on the St. Patty's Day Brawl. They're just going to go ahead on Friday. They're just going to go ahead tonight since it is one day past St. Patrick's Day. I don't know. You know what the weird thing about this quiet, it, it's been very quiet this year for uh, New Year's Day. And I'll tell you, I mean, St. Patrick's Day because of this uh, whole thing going on. I hope it was still good. It probably was safe for everybody, but I hope it was still good. But right now we're going to start off with our great journal manager, Chris Bat. That's right, folks. He's gonna come out here and say a few words like he always does. Always a pleasure to always a pleasure seeing him. I'll tell you that much right now. Not about it. But what it is, I mean I did a hell of a job since being the general manager here. Like his second tenure over here and uh, he's doing a heck of a job. And so is Jade. I'll tell you what, both these uh, both these uh, compadres are doing well. All right, let's see what Chris Bat's got to say tonight. There's Chris Bat, half. Chris Bat, a purified wrestling legend himself. I'll tell you that much right now. I mean, uh, let's call it what it is. Beautiful. No, three years. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome to Big Time Wrestling Wednesday in good old Lafayette, Louisiana. And as you know, this Friday in Baton Bat Rouge, Louisiana, uh, I hope I said it correctly, it's going to be St. Patty's Day Ball, so that means we're going to have like a Kajirish National Day there. And if you don't know what that is, that's Cajun and Irish, which is like two of the most partying people around the world. I can't tell you that much right now. But I'll tell you what right now. Just to let you know, we got a hell of a card here tonight, coming off the uh, one one day pass at St. Patrick's Day. Uh, hope everybody's watching at home and everything else. Remember, kids, under 18, give your parents get your parents permission before watching this, as it may have some adult situations and coarse language, and maybe things you don't want to see. The main event tonight is not going to be a title match. The main event is a steel cage grudge match between the, Be the Beast of Bray, Grit, taking on the architect, Seth Rollins. And I'll tell you that much right now. Uh, should be an interesting one. On the other hand, we also got a tag team title rematch with Joe Kenny and Corey Creighton going against Monaco. And the Brad No Bomber. Question is, I wonder if Monaco's going to be stuck for this because I've seen that High heinous attack that Christopher has done to him. But right now, I keep hearing some kind of controversy in the back. We're to Sarah Perry, and I God knows if her, uh, if her testimony is true. She says she saw John Monaco go in the locker room and put something in Christopher's water for his world title match against Jerry Bennett. Hey, you know what? Who knows? Also, speaking of Sarah Perry, she's going to be in the other cage match tonight. As she is going to go against Susu Cho in the defense of her quad fed women's universal title. Now we also got tonight uh We also got one we also got uh ah, we also got Michael Elgin against Chaz Foreman. Remember Chaz wins, he's only suspended for 30 days. Chaz loses, he's suspended for 120. How you doing, sir? How you doing there, there Gus Killer 30? Great to have you around. Earl 
Cannonberry here with you, and uh, we're going to get ready for our first matchup tonight, which I think is going to be for the light heavyweight title. Adam Cole did win his uh, shot uh, Friday. He, has, he did not sign a rematch clause. He had to wrestle and see if he could get a chance, another chance at Ricky Starks. But he did, and he defeated Matt Cross to earn that honor. So uh, let's get this one going. Ladder match it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh gosh, I'm starting to speak like Yoda. Ladder match it is. The anyway, title it is for. <laughs> oh boy. I don't know if I can ever get used to speaking like that. Nonetheless, it sounded weird to me. I'll tell you what, yeah, don't forget this Friday in Bat Baton Rouge, Louisiana. St. Patty State Brawl it should be a good one, folks. A lot of great matches already signed for that one. Diamond against Nova for the must-see wrestling women's title. A rematch where Nova's going to try to gain her title back from Diamond. Also, Diamond will be presented with the uh, check for $125,000 by Red Rose. But she was a world champion at the time, so she can't really defend the title against herself. So, uh, Red Rose, uh, so Red Rose has donated to that cause because uh, we're to see Diamond Russell herself in a ring, which uh, the following which contest for is a ladder match and is for the light heavyweight championship. Oh, it's always great to be here, and uh, here comes one. Here comes one uh, guy. That, you know what? This guy's got to be a cult leader or something. He's got to be like the uh, kind of most watched. Introducing the like, challenger. Everybody, everybody from says his uh, turn him off synonymously, and uh, still, uh, still a stroke back. Adam Cole. I hope Stroke Daddy gives him what he deserves, and that's a. Uh, Glorified beating. I don't think Stark should lose in his home state, to tell you the truth. He is from New Orleans, just to let you know. Lafayette's not too far from New Orleans, though. Correct me if I'm wrong, folks. I don't know. Here we go, folks. This should be a good one. And introducing the champion from New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, I can hope this guy. Uh, let's put it this way. Uh, let's just hope prices get over. He is the light uh, heavyweight the, the champion. Stud Daddy Ricky Stud. Well, uh, I hope once uh, this get, I hope this get, once this clears up, I'll tell you that much right now. I'm hoping that uh, we'll get to see the Crockett Cup again. Awesome. So yeah, he suspended his uh, operations, but you know what? Here's the thing about it too. Uh, they have given us permission to. To let Corey Crichton defend the title on MSW cards. So that's like the uh, the Federation. So that's like the second Federation that has allowed us to let them defend their titles here, which is awesome. Thank you, Dust Killer 30. So awesome. We got Ricky Starks in the ring, Stroke Daddy. I gotta go with Stroke Daddy in this one. I, let, I just can't get into Adam Cole. And that's just a personal opinion. I might get, I might get hated on by all the Adam Cole fans out there, but you know what? I'm gonna take the risk. Thank you. And by the end of the night, we'll find out who is uh, who Jerry Bennett will be defending his world title against this Friday. 
and it could be there's a plateau of challenges that could be possible. That could be possible. Don't like your phone, champ? Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, man. I apologize. My condolences. Of course, I'm calling Christopher the TV. I'm calling Christopher champ because of uh, he is the uh, MSW World Television Champion. I think it might be something coming up interesting. I don't know. Who knows? Who says that he may get defend his TV title against John Monaco this Friday? Now that Sarah Perry has claimed that uh, poisonous water, poisonous water, which caused the, uh, which caused the, uh, was it not, uh, was it not, not one of uh, his first great performances, and I will bring it up, and I apologize. If it does turn out to be true, I don't know. It's like, who knows? Only time could tell, I guess. Uh, you know what, with Christopher being the TV champion, he's not far away from getting another title shot. I'll tell you that much, no doubt. I was going to hope maybe that's a whole thing between Monaco and Christopher gets settled before that. Uh, so Christopher uh, will concentrate on uh, maybe becoming a five-time, five-time LC Wrestling champion. Oh yes, happy birthday to Chaz Warren. Let's hope he can win tonight on his birthday. Tonight he's got an unusual matchup that Bob Hills did as put him in. Him against uh, Michael Elkman. There's a stipulations for that. Chaz wins, he's only suspended for 30 days. Chaz loses, he's suspended for 120. I guess time's gonna let it stand even though Hillston i seen Hillston aggravating the hell out of Chaz 100%. And oh man, what a beautiful drop kick by Ricky Starks. You gotta love it. I, I gotta feel this kid's gonna be a future talent, most definitely. He was a former NWA TV champion. I'm waiting for him to regain that from Zippy Guys. So maybe we'll see if uh, we'll see Russell can maybe sign that match one of these days. Who knows? Ziggy Dice, you know what, Ziggy Dice is, he's talented, but he does not concentrate. Like, uh, uh, he's like, uh, he's, unlike, he's unlike orange juice, he does not concentrate. I'll put it that way. There's some kid knocking on our door today in the offices of Must See Wrestling. Jordan Alford was trying to get a contract. Good God. I see that guy on MLW and now, oh boy, that guy's a head case. You might see him in MLW as a member of uh, Injustice, along with Myra Reed and Toto Brazil. Right now, Ricky starts going to work on Ampo and it looks like he's gonna make a, he's gonna make the first fetch at the ladder. Wait a minute, and oh, is this a stroke? Yeah. Oh, we're on the ladder. Holy cow. Oh, oh. oh that had to hurt. Right now. That should be honorable. I mean, it should be pretty awesome this Friday when uh, we go to Baton Rouge and Red Rose is there in the crowd. It would be great to see her again. If you don't know who Red Rose is, she's a legendary women's wrestler for uh, Rusty Wrestling. Multiple time women's champion, multiple time tag team champ. Oh man, two inches away from the ladder. Yeah, Adam Cole could have done a lot of damage if he had power bomb starts that ladder, but he did, chose not to, and Starks was able to recover quickly. Oh, but look at that, Cole. It can go in the work. Oh, oh, that hamstring pack. Ouch. Unbelievable. But right now, Adam Cole. Oh, man, what a neck break for Oh man, I don't like Alan Cole, but you know what? I give him all the credit in the world. He is a he is a skilled, talented wrestler. 
no doubt about it. Oh, but Starks keeps fighting back. Lovely. Oh. Well, Starks is going to give a uh, cold little taste of his own mess and then rips his throat right into the uh, thing there. Nice. Very nice move there, my Ricky Starks. Starks going uh, going for the belt again, folks. If you can get it. Oh, once again, Al Cole with another power bomb. Question is, how many power bombs can Ricky start sustain before falling? You know, that's the thing about it. Oh, and there's that Patel assistant playing this. Oh, he drops him head first on his knee. Yeah. Nasty stop. That's just a nasty move all by itself. I mean, who uh, who gets hurt worse? Does the guy that does the guy does the guy whose head gets dropped on get hurt worse, or is it the guy who, that uh, uses his knee as a weapon in that uh, in that thing? Come on, Starks. Come on, I don't think the fans want to see you uh, lose that title quickly, my friend. Come on, show what you're all about. There you go. And Cole knocks him out of the ring. I mean, Cole gets knocked out of the ring, and Starks is going for it again, ladies and gentlemen. He's going for it, and uh, Alan Cole better get back in there quickly. And now uh, Alan Cole's turned up, nail him in the back. And Ricky Starks, I gotta give him credit, the resiliency, he is coming on. Well, he did for a while. Now he gets caught again. Oh man, and he gets knocked off the ladder. Now Cole now gonna try to go after uh oh boy. Oh, stomp on those fingers. Good strategy, I gotta admit, because uh boy, if uh, Starks doesn't have those fingers and take that bell off that long, he's in trouble. Uh oh. Oh, and there's that shining wizard. Alan Cole now going to the top of the ladder. Oh boy. Starksburg. Oh, Stark is going to get off. Uh oh. Come on, Ricky. Get over there, my friend. Oh, beautiful. It's giving Alan Cole the same message that happened to him over here. Oh, man. What a beautiful, uh. Beautiful drop right there, folks. Oh, boy. Oh man, and it was uh, Alan Cole to the outside of the ring. Ricky Starks now has a big opportunity. He's got big uh, leeway to get this belt. Can he do it? Oh, it start, oh, it starts to power bomb for a third time. Trifecta of power bombs. I am cold. Oh, Ricky, don't fall asleep on your fans, amigo. And once again, Starks uh, turn it back and forth here against Cole. Oh, man, I like the chair drop. Same question with uh, about that is uh, how it starts with the power bombs. How many electric chair drops can Alan Cole take before he, assist, he succumbs to the injuries? And he gets caught because uh, Starks missed it and all. Uh, oh, and Starks fights back. Oh, man. Starks just got put on his tail by uh, Alan Cole out there in Zubiri that may have fought the apron. Starks comes back in. Unable to take him down yet. Oh. Oh, once again. And Cole. The veteran that he is, I gotta give him credit. You know, like the guy, but I gotta give him credit. 
Alan Cole, I think, might have this one in the bag. That's if Ricky Starks can get back in there quickly, but now Ricky Starks is taking a little more time to recover. And... Oh, beautiful, and Ricky Starks now. Come on, Ricky. There you go. One more, man. One more for the road. Come on, there you go. Man, Ricky starts trying not to let the fans down. Uh oh, we got a, oh, we got a top, we got a king of the mountain battle here now. And Starks, it seems like he's winning with those bread basket punches. And he knocks Cole right off the ladder. And the fans are going wild there as they're watching their uh, hometown hero, their state, statehood hero, Ricky Starks. And he does it. Alan Cole has lost a rematch, so therefore Alan Cole cannot challenge for the belt until Ricky Starks loses it. What a match. What a matchup. I'll tell you that much right now. Unbelievable stuff. Starks looked really good out there tonight. Oh, he took, uh, took the damage from the, uh, from, uh, the veteran, and he shot it right back at him, and Here is as your a result, winner, and still there's your reason. Light heavyweight champion, Stud Daddy Ricky Stubbs. All right. Stay tuned, folks. The night is young here. Oh, yeah, this match was just signed by Jay Call. Extreme Rules match. The winner of this match is going to receive a world title shot next Friday as we head into Florida. Akira versus Sumayar Natsu. Jerry Missile. Do I dance? We'll decide who's going to be. Who's going to get that title shot next Friday? It'll be against either Diamond or Nova. That's a match that's going to happen this Friday. Alright folks, let's get this match going. Making her way to the ring from Japan, Samuel Nathan. There she is, Sumaira Natsu. I'll tell you, she's a pretty attractive person. I'll tell you that much right now. Rumors is I keep feeling that, uh... Hey, Chaz Foreman, how you doing? Are you getting ready for your matchup tonight against Michael Elgin? 
and her opponent. Rumor says I keep hearing that uh, from Kitty Cat wants to sign Sumire Maxson. She is very interested. In and here is Akira. So I see her back here, folks. We got much right now. Her gave Diamond one hell of a fight in the semifinals of the tournament. Basically, uh. Well, it came close. I mean, it was a tough one. Gee, you know what? I, I don't know. She, yeah, I think she didn't realize she was going to lose. She lost the potential winner of that tournament, which was uh, Diamond, who beat Jerry Mess on the finals. That's what's going to be uh, coming to the ring here in a little bit. As we decide to have the semifinalists and the finalist in this uh, matchup. But uh, Jay Cole has decided. And from Columbus, Ohio, Jerry Mitchell. There's Jerry Missile right there, the PSX wife of Joe Kenny. Now you know they're both hate it. Because the fans really don't care for your Kenny or Missile. Kenny does not want a damn thing to do with Missile. Why should and you know what? He doesn't need I guess says he doesn't need to because he claims to be married to the folks. says that uh, Kitty Cat is. Here we go, folks. Right now, Jerry Missile going to work here as uh, takes over Akira, and I guess Sumire got hit too. Oh, Sumire now. Natsu. Oh, Natsu grabbing Missile. And it's a three way ten, so in order to win this one, you must be the last person standing. Like I said, they'll get a tell shot here next. Uh, it's, they'll get a tell, the winner of this match will get the tell shot next fight against either Nova or Diamond. We see, and we see Edge on the uh, Twitter. Twitch for him right now saying hello. Kurt Foreman wishing his uh, brother Jazz a happy birthday tonight. I'm pretty sure the Foreman family will be on pins and needles watching that match against Elgin. Because uh, losing out on 30 days uh, work uh, again, it could be out against 30 days of work against losing out on 120 days work. Uh, big difference. That's what Hilston has done. He's like, by the way, you're going to serve a suspension, sir. Back to me. But like I said, once again, Hilston started it, but I guess they threw it out the window. Oh, man, and Sumire gets hit with that. Natsu gets hit with the suplex and almost a pinfall there by Akira. Oh, and Akira now bumps right into Jerry Missile. And Jerry Missile with the cross body. Oh, man, and now Natsu catches Missile from behind. Where's Natsu going to? Now Natsu going to bring in the heavy uh, metal artillery there with the ladder. See if it's going to be uh, put to any... Oh! I think Jerry Missile might get the point of that ladder, and she might out there. She's holding her back. Well, that was nasty. That spin around suplex and watching uh, Jerry Missile could be hit back first on that ladder. Usually be a uh, crippling effect, and there's a kill with the chop. Oh man, a double a double chop, but I think uh, I, I I didn't dodge it. Then dodge that chop by Akira. And now Akira go right with the jury missile there. And oh! She gets dropped down. And look at, look at Natsu taking the time to uh, 
Oh my gosh, what kind of move is that? Holy cow. The cherry missile just uh, it jumped on her back and uh, showed her butt, uh, backside to the camera. Oh my gosh. And now Nazi nails uh, Kira, I mean, uh, cherry missile at, oh, beautiful, nor beautiful uh, overhead northern light suplex. And wow, and now me and Kira hit her with the brain shop, and now that's taking advantage of what a suplex. Wow. Now Natsu looks like she's gonna go to work here. Oh man. One shot for you, one two for you, one two three for you. And now one for you, Akira. Kira Natsu, I'm pretty impressed with it. I gotta admit. Oh boy, what's Natsu gonna do? Oh, Fisherman's DDT. Oh, that, of course they call it the Rampage. Oh, but Akira kicks out, wow. Oh, looks like uh, Natsu now trying to, oh, but Natsu gets blocked and oh! Very Missile runs in another but air. But Natsu gets caught after, uh, Showing off their uh, wiggling herself right in front of the fans. And Akira now set her up. Oh, beautiful suplex. That was just beautiful, folks. And I need to the back by Akira. I'm going to try to put away Jerry Missile here. Uh, try to make her first official personnel of this thing. Oh, Jerry Missile gets out her at the 2.7. Oh man, Natsu just got kicked in the leg, and now again in the leg, and Kira grabs Jerry Missile, old school atomic drop. Wow. And Akira now a nice uh, takeover. Oh, the backdrop, and Akira going, oh, she's going to try to nail that uh, end of trail? Oh. Beautiful, and that's how she beats the Kura Miura in the uh, quarter finals. Oh, for the pin, one. A competitor has been has eliminated. Gone. Found a journey missile and a cure off. Oh, and a uh, missile acting like dead weight right in uh, a Kira's uh, clutches. But they're for, oh, and a cure with a nice vicious chop. Now, Akira with a nice spinning chop. But Harry Missile a little too uh, over for her as she uh, kicks Akira off. Now Akira goes over the top rope to the outside. And right now, Harry Missile going to work. Not much way to go. Unbelievable, oh, no. Jerry Missile said she's going in for the kill. Oh, oh, DDT. A competitor. And Jerry Missile will be getting that shot next Friday. Where it is. You know, that show will be in Miami, Florida next Friday. We'll continue our tour here in Louisiana tonight. I said. One day was New Orleans for the Rose Garden Classic, and what a tournament it was. And then, of course, uh, tonight we're in Lafayette, and then Friday we're in Natal Rouge. That's right, folks. Natal Rouge, Louisiana. But what a match that was. Oh, man, what? That, that's a devastating move right there, that man. Yeah, they used to call that the Rampage, more like the Fisherman's DT. Her with the knee to the back. Of course, it would be a DDT on the outside that would do a cure in. Here is your winner. I bet you Jerry Asia calls got the Oh, I'll tell you that much right now.
Well, here we go, folks. Still to come. We still got more great uh, action. Night's still young here, folks, on this post-St. Patrick's Day edition. Oh, and look who's here right now. The controversial subject, the Christopher. But you know what? Fans are actually still cheering for him. Would you actually believe that? They're thinking like he didn't do nothing wrong. Maybe he didn't. If we could find proof that could, it could be possible, who knows? I don't know. I'm not going to... I'm not going to put it, I'm not going to etch it in stone yet. That's what I meant to say. All right, folks, that's it. Let's get to Christopher right now. Hello, wrestling fans. Yes, I am here. And uh, you know what? Just because my uh, situation with John Monaco for Monday night, it doesn't mean I'm turning my back on you fans. I'm not, I'm not doing that. What's going on between me and Monaco is simple. What I heard from Sarah Perry is that John Monaco rubbed my drink Friday night before the matchup against Jerry Bennett for the AWE and D for the uh, Musty Wrestling World title. Now, I don't know why, I don't know if it turns out to be true, I don't know. I don't know why Monaco would do it because maybe because he never held a single his curve, who knows? That probably might be it. Every time he's held was a tag team tell. And I don't know. It's, uh, it's uh, maybe because he has partners to carry him to, uh, to those titles. Who knows? Like, like for example, Brian Obama. I'll tell you what. I got a deal for him Friday night. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I will defend the M I will defend the MSW World Television title against him, Monaco. You get your opportunity to shine in the spotlight. You get your opportunity and maybe get your first singles tower and prove the fate that you'll need to be you don't need nobody uh you don't need nobody so was it support you. And you could be an independent you could be an independent person. I'll tell you that much right now. Don't you send any of your bullies after me or anything like that, Monaco, because I'll tell you what, I'm gonna make this up it's between you and me. It's not between me and Bomber. It's not between you and Chaz Foreman. It's not between you and Ch Corey Crichton. It's not between you and Joe Kenny. It's not between me and uh, Joe Kenny. It's not between me and Corey Crichton. This is between you and me, Monaco. No? Now, I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. I'll be wrestling you twice. If you happen to hold on those tag team towels Friday, maybe who knows? Maybe I'll go get myself a partner and uh, challenge you for those belts, man. Who knows? That could be possible. Who well, might see that? I'll tell you that much right now. Yeah, I'll challenge you all by myself. Who knows? Wow, oh, Christopher. I'll tell you what, man. Christopher feel a little fed up about the situation. He he still he blame he's taking Sarah Perry's words and uh blaming Monaco for uh his loss Friday night. Wow. I hope we can find out the truth behind this sometime down if not now, sometime down the road before this ruins it. Coming up next, we got a six-man matchup, and this should be interesting. OC, AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows.
one against. Here's a combination: blue, blue, green, and blue, blue, green, and Urahara. We'll call it that. Blue arrow, green mini, and Kasuki Urahara in a tornado tag team match. I told you you're gonna have some unique matchups here tonight, since it is St. Patrick's Day. Of course, tonight uh, we seen uh, I guess Rage Tonic Treat for a uh, buff for St. Patrick's Day buffet. You limit the drinking in, in the back. A lot of corned beef, a lot of cows, a lot of all kinds of stuff there, folks. Potatoes and everything else, man. I'll tell you that much right now. But right now we got a six-person tag team match going on here. There are the Mini and Blue Arrow taking on J. Styles, Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows. We haven't seen the we haven't seen any of these we haven't seen any of these six in a while. I'll tell you that much right now. And while this is going on, I'll be back and go get myself a refreshment for you, Fred. Stay with us. Especially let's get ready while we bounce down there again. Right now, we still got the action going on as uh, thank goodness I was able to get a drink down there. Man, why I look at Arrow with the flying clothes on? I'll tell you what, after this matchup, there's going to be four great matches that everybody's going to look after. And there's a spiral tap by AJ Styles. Oh boy, and AJ now down in trouble. Oh man. That Herman Carey back breaker. And what's Meany doing? He's standing over Anderson. Look like he's ready to do something. Oops.
AJ Styles set it up. Oh, he catches on the phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Ace Iron Breaker DDT by uh he uh, drops Luke Gallows and uh oh and Styles breaks up the pin that will and on oh And AJ drops him down, and Blue Arrow, Blue Arrow's going to be seen right now. Does that mean he's going to be? Is that, is that combined to be purple altogether? Is that what they taught you in school? Blue and red makes you purple. Oh man, and what a kick by uh, Gallows. I should say me on Gallows. Uh oh, is Gallows going? Oh, stopped. Uh oh, not good. Right now, me taking care of our uh, business so against Big Luke. Oh man, what a superb suplex! Oh no, triple power bomb coming out! Oh. Are you kidding me? Wow. Right now, a sleeper by, uh... And Yurohara wins with a sleeper on Gallows. Wow. Alright folks, stay tuned, we got the next matchup coming up here. Here we go folks, no holds barred, here we go. Chaz wins, he's only suspended for 30. Elgin wins, Chaz is then suspended for 120 days. Oh, wait a minute, I just heard something. If Elgin wins, he will get a tell shot against Jerry Bennett Friday night. Wow. Oh. This is getting uh, Elgin more fuel to his fire, folks. Wow, here we go, folks. This is, man, they just put up a lot of uh, prizes on this one.
making his way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 245 pounds, the Gulf Coast Heavyweight Champion, Unbreakable Michael Elgin Champion. Here we go, folks. Should be a good one. And his opponent, from Columbus, Ohio, weighing in at 255 pounds, Charles Ford Mann. This should be an interesting bout. Not much. Go, folks. Oh, an oak. Oh, sit up, Spine Buster. Ah. Hey, what? Michael Elgin, he is a powerhouse. Oh, the Chaz is the better. Oh, no, I think I gotta say Chaz is more the better in here than Elgin is. How oh, Elgin is, uh. Elgin is trouble. I that much. Chaz now, trying to put the drain sleep on Elgin, but Elgin, whoops, him all. Right now, Chaz is going for the pin on Elgin. Oh, it doesn't get it.
Now Elgin, now in Chaz. Looks like he's going for a kill. Oh man! One, two. Oh, almost. One count away from uh. One count away from almost being suspended for four months. Elgin now pounding away on uh, for Chaz Foreman here. I know Elgin just having his way with Chaz right now. He, he's now hit him with those elbows. Holy cow. Round and out. Oh, and Elgin still being a little upset here, folks. Wow. Elgin thought he had it there. Oh man, ouch. And once again, Elgin. Trying to figure out how the heck you take down uh, Chaz. And all, oh, Chaz, get it out of it there. There you go, and all. Oh, found the way on the forehead of Elgin. A couple knuckle sandwiches, mustard, and pick was not included. Oh, and Chaz just got. Oh, no. Uh oh. That is in trouble. Ouch. Right now, Elgin just having his little chance. Oh, can't do it again. Wow. Elgin, uh oh. Oh, no, 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 not the Elgin. Oh! Ouch. Elgin wins. He's going to get the tunnel shot, and Chaz is gone for Oh, my gosh. She is gone for uh, 120 days. Saying so. Gosh. Chaz is gone for 120 days. Unbelievable. Well, that means it, it also means that uh, it is now uh, going to be Elgin taking on Jerry Bennett for the title. Friday. So it was deemed in the whole thing with. Uh, Here is your winner, Unbreakable Michael Elgin. Oh. It's gotta be devastating. Devastating, especially the Chaz. Well, bad for Chaz, I'll tell you that much right now, man. Folks, we'll be right back. We're gonna go with a number uh, thing here momentarily.
Oh, J. Cole coming out to the ring. Wow, okay. Man, unbelievable. Hello, wrestling fans. Uh, so great to be here in beautiful Lafayette, Louisiana. I mean, I like Louisiana. It's like it's my home state. I grew up here and... Well, I grew up in New Orleans, to be exact, but you know what? It's always great to be around all the cities now. Such great uh, Southern hospitality and everything. I'll tell you what. I'm going to bring you some great wrestling hospitality this Friday from the women's division. And let me start off first with Diamond and Nova in a rematch for the MSW Women's Championship. And then also we got a rematch coming up for the TV tellers, the new champion, Miss Wonderland against former champion Star Age. Yes. And basically, most of all, don't forget, we also have Diamond being presented the prestigious check for $125,000 for winning the Rose Garden Classic by my mom. And MSW legend Red Lopes. It should be great. I'll tell you what, right now it should be interesting because I still I'm still gonna find people that have challenged for a Tri American title and also the uh, tag team titles and the uh, Queen of the Wasteland title. Don't forget that. Don't forget later on, coming up later on tonight, we also have Susu Chow seeing if she can uh, defeat Sarah Perry for the Universal title tonight in the cage. Thank you all. And I, I hope you all have a good night and enjoy the rest of the show. Tell you what, Jay, Jay Cole is a person of class. And she is just, you know what, she's just superb. No doubt about it, guys, she's just superb. And let's see what's coming up next here. Hey, team action! It is. I'll tell you what. Uh, yeah, you, you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't blame two people that was quicker to get a rematch right away. I mean, I wanted a rematch right away quicker than anything would be Kenny and Clayton. They decided to put in a rematch clause and go against Bomber and Monaco tonight for the tag team tells. Well, this will work out for Monaco if he happens to retain the tag team tells. He's going to be wrestling uh, Christopher for the TV title coming up this Friday. Christopher says. I'm going to give you your shot to uh, shine in the spotlight. This can be your this can be your opportunity to win your first ever singles championship and claim yourself as an independent person and not some freeloader. That's what Christopher has said. Surprisingly, the fans are taking a side on this one. I mean, well, there's a lot of fans taking a side. There's a fans from there's fans for Monaco, but there's a lot of fans for uh, Christopher. I don't think he did anything wrong. I, you know what? I don't know. I'm not gonna say. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put my pen on it until I find out the whole story. This will work out the same because I think coming up this Friday, I heard that. Uh, Oh, Kenny will be defending his title against Davy Boy Smith Jr., his MLW world title. ML MLW suspended operations for 45 days until May, but uh, they are going to let MSW 
they are going to let them uh, have rights to defend that MLW title here. So. Question is, you know what's going to be the main question here tonight? How is Monaco feeling after getting uh, messed up by Christopher Monday night? That locker room attack, that backstage sneak attack, that backstage attack. Oh, yeah, I want to know. Right then, most likely, I got feeling the, I don't know. We haven't heard anything from Emma. We haven't heard anything from NWA or uh, the management over in uh, Kickstart to see if they're going to throw a contender at him or what. That's the thing about it. All right, folks, let's get this one going. And coming up after this is our double cage, our two cage matches. Here is Joe Kenny with MLW Heavyweight Belt. He's the champion there after he and Jacob Batu in a match. I think I heard this Friday we'll be defending against uh, the Boy Smith Jr. Matchup will happen. A good one, I'll tell you that much right now. It's not about it. Or what it is. The fans not giving Kenny any love. The only love that he's getting his problem is uh, besides his tag team partner, it's probably from his wife Kitty Cat. Here comes his tag team partner, the rock star, Corey Crichton. He's coming to the ring with the NWA belt. He's coming to the ring just to, so he can just piss off the former champion Nick Aldis. Not feeling. Well, my uh, assumption is. Oh, come on. Probably Aldis is still kicking himself in the tail after losing that belt in a four way match to Crichton. Or he was, and then you know what the funny thing about it? All this was in the last man in the ring with quite and it was Atsuya Naito. Or what it is, I mean, basically. Should be a good one for the, um, this one should be a good one as, uh, it is going to be Tornado Tag, folks. John Monaco looks like he's fine. 
Looks like I think I see a little bruise on his head from the uh, cut he took from uh, him busting open my crystal. There he is, folks, John Monaco. Could it be all right in this match, or is that, or maybe that, maybe that uh, bump on the head may uh, cause him uh, a little bit of, a little bit of trouble in this match. Who knows? Right, here we go again. We're, we're saying the uh, continuous the news Urban time. Gladiator and the rock star Corey Crutchman. The Urban Gladiator, the rock star Corey Crutchman, and their opponents at a combined weight of 530 pounds. They are the champions. The Brawler, Eddie Wright, and John Moore, A. Cho. Go, folks. Oh, and uh, Monaco going right after Kenny right away. Oh, and Kenny with a snap headbutt. I could swear that was right in that bump. Oh, and swinging that breaker. That's not too good. He's zeroing in on that uh, head of Monaco. He's like a shark. I don't think that much right now. Oh man, and what a judo throw by Crichton. And now Kenny now, oh man. Oh man, what a power ball. Oh man, and uh Monaco knocks Kenny's foot away as uh Kenny tried kicking him and Oh man, he missed the clothesline, but kept up nicely. Oh, and now Monaco going to work, and oh man, just this clothesline, but Kenny did not flinch. Hey, sending him up. What is he gonna do? Oh, what a gut wrench! And it might be his fourth suplex already. Who knows? Oh boy. Armor beating up on Quake and Kenny beat up on Monaco. And now he's got the dragon sleeper. And 
Bomber go rope a dope on Poitou. sends Monaco to the top. And he's just looking for revenge against Monaco for a new one in that tag match. Oh, right on the outside. Oh, man. King's trying to send Monaco to a one-way trip to concussion. Your brains go all way I work on. Monocle is getting trashed by uh, Kenny right now. Fight has got the advantage back on Bomber. Oh boy. Then he's just pounding away on the... And... Bomber managed to get to the ropes there. Oh. Oh, what a kick. Oh. Are you kidding me? I heard that from downtown, folks. Oh, so close. Oh, boy. oh, chest burst. Oh, no, it's getting good to do. Oh, oh, good God. I don't drive her. Oh, no, that, oh. I think I seen Michael's head quivering. Oh. Notice that in regular tag team matches and that never played really well, but tonight they can't seem to find a solution against uh, Quite and Kenny when uh, all four of the guys are in the ring. I guess it's all dependent on the set of rules and stipulations. That's that Quite will pin the uh, bomber. Now, oh, once again, the champions. Penny and Crichton have regained the belts. The multi-world champion has done it again. He's the one that scored a pin on uh, Bomber to get back the belts. Folks, let's get to the next match up here. So 
cage match is yeah, Su Su Chow against Sarah Perry. Women's Universal title on the line. There we go, folks. Interesting. Akamoto had to be happy about that with uh, Crichton. I'll tell you that much right now. Of course, Takamoto, if you don't know, he's the official president of the Corey Crichton fan club. The number one super fan of Corey Crichton. Once again, Crichton has four belts again. The following contest is a steel cage match. First and it's for the Women's Universal Championship. Otherwise, the other one's going to be a grudge match between Rollins and uh, Red after this one. Here comes Su Su Chow. Oh boy, here comes Sir Perry. Introducing the challenger from China, 
Su Su Cho. And Su Su Cho right there. Introducing the champion from Annapolis, Maryland. She is the women's universal champion, Sarah. The show, adorable Perry. Sarah Perry giving the belt right there. Oh, it's Sarah Perry Chai going for the pin already. Oh, a good uh, strategy by the champ because she probably wants to get this done already. And Sarah Perry trying to oh, and Sarah Perry and Susu gets out. For the pin. Oh, couldn't get it. Oh. And Sarah Perry trying to go to the top here.
This will turn the seed definitely. Oh, and there's that front flip DDT by Suzu. Oh my gosh, this could be it. Sarah might get a beat back for all the stuff that she did. Sarah catches uh, Susu. Oh, it sounds like Sarah Perry won. Here is your winner, and still, Women's Universal Champion, Sarah, the show, Adorable Perry. All right, folks, main event coming up next. That cage is staying up. Stay tuned, folks. Seth Rollins against Gray in that cage match. Here we go.
She is that good. I guess she is, uh, Takamo. You're right about that. About that. There's Seth Rollins. What comes out of this cage match between him and our Wood tonight? Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! And his opponent, from Belfast, Northern Ireland, weighing in at 250 pounds, Garrett O. The Tool. There we go, folks. Main event time it is.
right now. Rollins going right to here. Right now, Seth Rollins on top of the cage there. Rick catches him. Oh, and Seth Rollins, wow. Man, I do not believe it. Seth Rollins managed to escape and he defeats Brett. Hopefully, maybe we can get another cage match between these two Friday. Maybe I own a cell. Fit that much right now. Unbelievable. I'm shocked. Oh, I'm pretty shocked. Wow, Seth Rollins gets the win. Here is your winner, Seth Rollins. Oh, folks, there you go, folks. For everybody here, I am Earl Cannon Bear, and uh, we'll see you Friday night in uh, Bat Baton Reach, Atlanta, for uh, 
St. Patty's Day Ball. So take care, guys, and have a good night. Thank you.